Today's video, I'm going to tell you why women should be taking creatine. Now, most women want a tight and lean look, and so they tend to stay away from supplements like creatine because this supplement comes with the thought of creatine creating a bulkness and bloatiness. But is that true? Well, in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about what it is, is it necessary, if so, when, and how you should take it. Now, if you're looking for a personalized creatine program, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, and mention the belly burn. So first off, will creatine cause a bloat? No and yes. No, because it's going to level off in the end, but yes, once you start taking it, it's going to create more water to flow inside of your muscle cells than outside, and so naturally your body's gonna become more dehydrated because it wants to create balance between the inside of your muscle cells and the outside. But over time, that is going to level off. Now, what does creatine do? Well, it has the potential energy storage to speed up the recovery between repetitions, and it's also gonna help you to output more strength and power for each lift. So basically, you're gonna recover faster, you're gonna be able to lift heavier, and then you're gonna be able to continuously do this over the course of period of time. And we know that muscle takes time, but muscle also requires more resistance and more strength to be added each and every time in order for it to grow. So the creatine acts as a storage energy source that's going to allow your muscles to lift more and have less fatigue between reps and sets and also time between when you're gonna do that next exercise. Creatine naturally occurs in the daily diet but it comes in small amounts. Now the highest amount comes from red meat. A six ounce steak would give you about one to two grams of creatine. A fit woman, like doing one to two fit club hit resistance training workouts a day, five days a week, would need at least five grams per day alone. Now my recommendation for the women that are focusing on building lean muscle, and they've already dropped the body fat, to go on the higher amounts of around 10 grams per day. So to manage getting 10 grams per day, I don't think these women that are generally eating 15 to 2,000 calories a day are gonna be able to eat that much meat in order for them to get the creatine that's required of them to build muscle by gaining more strength and recovering faster between sets and reps. So supplementation is what I would recommend. There are many types of creatine right now, but monohydrate is the one that there's decades of research behind showing its effectiveness. It's probably the number one supplement out there that's been proven to actually work. So if you can, stick with the powdered form. Now, most of the brands probably get the same creatine from different, like from the same warehouse. It's just they repackage them differently. So is one brand better than the other? In my opinion, no. What I would recommend for you is to go with the flavorless. Now, if you need a flavored one, then you can just add EAAs to it and just add it in there, shake it up pretty good. It's kind of granular at first, but just do a little bit of water with some EAAs so that you have that sweetness taste so it doesn't, doesn't taste like you're eating chalk, and then just shoot it down. Now, one thing and one supplement that I love that we carry at the gym is called the C4 Ultimate. Now, it's the only pre-workout as of the filming of this video that I found that had creatine inside of it. It also has the creatine HCL, which is supposed to help with faster absorption. But again, I'm not too worried about that. In total, I think it has about four grams of creatine per serving. So when it comes to taking the C4, I would tell you to take a half a scoop and you would want to take this half a scoop about 15 minutes prior to your workouts. Now there's a couple downsides to the C4 and it just depends on the beta alanine, which kind of helps your brain to kind of stimulate and wake up. Some people, when it comes to pre-workout, get the itchiness. But when it comes to the C4, I have yet to hear anybody complain about being too itchy that they can't work out. The C4 also, I've heard, never heard anybody complain about the taste. All of the flavors, 
all taste great. And I have no relationship to the C4 brand. It's just the brand that I found that everybody enjoyed. They got the pump that they're looking for. They didn't feel really any crashes and the taste has been great. So the C4 is the one that I recommend. We do carry it at the gym. So if you're a gym goer, then the C4 Ultimate is what you're looking for. There are other brands out there, but I'd recommend to find a brand that does have the creatine in it because then it's just gonna be able to save you time from having to go and buy creatine. And then remember to take your creatine pre or post-workout. It's already in your pre-workout and it's gonna give you that recovery that you're looking for. So even if you're taking C4, you're still gonna need another like seven to 10 grams, depending on your muscle mass and the activities that you participate in. So the best time is honestly the consistent time for you. Now, when I'm telling people to take creatine, especially when we're going into the higher dosages, like 10 grams to 20 grams, I would recommend if, let's say we put you on 10 grams, well then I'd recommend that you take the 10 grams and you split it up into two servings. So the easiest time to remember is when you first wake up, right? Just make it a part of your wake up routine. Then the second time is you can actually have it at night because creatine is a non-stimulant, not C4. Creatine by itself <laughs> is a non-stimulant. So you can have the C4 a part of your bedtime routine and it's gonna saturate your muscles with the creatine and then you'll take your five grams in the morning. And then in the end, as long as you're being consistent, it's all going to level off. Now, when it comes to creatine, should you cycle on and off with it? And the research out there is saying, yes, you wanna oversaturate your muscles for about four weeks when you're first getting going. So for a female working out at Fit Club over the age of 40, I would recommend that we put you at 20 grams per day and we do four servings of five grams per day. If you're a male at Fit Club and you're looking to pack on some muscle, then I would recommend that you do 30. So then we would go about seven to eight grams four times a day. It's just easier to do four times a day, do about eight grams. You can even go up to 10 grams, we can go up to 40. Might be a little bit excess, but just out of simplicity of the scoops, then you, know, you might just do two scoops four times a day. And creatine is fairly inexpensive right now compared to all the rest of the supplementations. But it's, again, one of the most tested and researched out there that's gonna help you to be able to lift heavier and recover faster. So the benefits are there based on the research alone. So again, if you're just getting into creatine, first of all, don't expect to see massive amounts of results right away. And this is a supplement, especially if you're gonna do the cycling, that you're gonna want to give it time and not freak out when you gain two or three pounds due to water weight. Give it about four weeks of the load, then come down based on the metrics that I told you earlier. So if you're a female and you're doing you know, one to two workouts at Fit Club, so let's say 10 workouts, which is about five hours of hard workouts a week, then you wanna be around the 10 grams of creatine total per day, so that could include your C4 plus supplementation. If you're a male, I'd recommend for you to go a little bit higher at about 15 to 20 grams, and that will be the steady for the rest of the year. So if you're loading, we go high. On a regular, we go half of that, and you consistently do that for 52 weeks. Now, if you're looking for a specific plan for you, based on the goals that you're looking to accomplish this year, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, Mention the belly burn, most coaches are full, but you wanna get onto that waiting list so that when the first opening opens up for you, and we only run these six times a year, then you're on that list.